When you use the SC916, you expect the console to turn on. But what happens when you don't have any power? So the first thing that you want to look at is your battery voltage. The battery on this unit should generate 6.1 volts or greater. There's a couple different scenarios with the battery when it's low. If it's less than 6 volts, but higher than 4.8 volts DC, it can receive a charge from the battery charger. That just means plugging it in for 24 hours and then disconnecting the battery charger. If the voltage is less than 4.8 volts, your battery is completely dead and you actually have to get a new one. If you verify that your battery voltage is good, then you want to take a look at your speed sensor. The distance between the speed sensor and this speed disk should be about a business card's thickness. So as you can see here, it's very close. Okay, so if your speed sensor is gapped out properly and plugged in, that means that the next component you'll need to look at is your lower control board. There isn't very much you can do with the lower control board um, other than just swapping it with another good working unit or making sure that your console is working properly and then eliminating all of the other components. So in this case, we're going to check all of our connections on the lower control board, make sure they're nice and tight, and then we're going to try the pedals again. And as you can see, we just had a loose connection. The last thing that you can do is you can actually remove the console. When you remove the console and disconnect your 20-pin connection, you can measure voltage off of the white and the black wires. It should be the same voltage that you get here at your battery. If you verify that your voltage is good up at the console and it still isn't lighting up, then you'll need to replace either the processor in your console or the display board. And that concludes your electrical troubleshooting for the SC916.